especially for its uh, medicinal use. So Rastafari has proven to be right in its vibrations. And I want to commend you for standing your ground. Even the foods that you eat, again, you've been proven to be correct, that you're eating the right foods. And, you know, it's so unfortunate that in the past we didn't embrace the Rastafari movement as a Caribbean initiative, your religion as a Caribbean religion, and certainly the movement as a Caribbean social movement. Unfortunately, you're demonized, you're castigated, and I believe that the time has come now for Caribbean governments to pay some form of reparation. Yes, I am. Uh, oh. And yes, when I say reparation, not necessarily in the form of paying you cash, because the reality is yeah, most Caribbean governments are broke. But to provide an opportunity for you to benefit from what is emerging now as the new green economy. Green and I'm referring to cannabis. Yes. I'm not talking about alternate energy. The reality is cannabis is now emerging as the new global economy. Many of you may not be aware of this, but just recently, within the last 24 hours, there was an announcement by Philip Morris that they will be investing 2.4 billion United States dollars in the cannabis industry in Canada. Now, what we have to make sure within the Caribbean is that Rastafari is not displaced from this very lucrative space. It's a space that you have occupied for many decades. You've paid the price. Many of you have even given your lives, or those in the past for that matter who have been killed by vicious policemen and others would have given their lives to sustain your beliefs and certainly your practices to include your religious practices. So I think it's um, important that within CARICOM in particular, that there's a carve out for Rastafari to make sure that you can benefit from this very important space, one that is now developing into a very lucrative global industry. And within Antigua and Barbuda, as you know, we're now moving towards medicinal um, marijuana. And we have created a carve out for the Rastafari community. Unfortunately, you're not a centralized movement. And we have had to deal with at least the groups that we know. Not to say that in the future we would not be able to extend whatever um, opportunities to others, but in the interim, we have to deal with the organized groups that we are aware of and to ensure too that there is no opportunism in this so that individuals can conveniently form themselves into Rastafari groups who may not necessarily be Rastafari and to get the preferential treatment. So certainly in the case of Antigua and Barbuda, we have agreed as a form of reparatory justice to provide Rastafari with a license and that license will literally involve all aspects of marijuana or cannabis production, both upstream and downstream. And what we expect them to do is to leverage that license to create resources. Obviously, the space to grow marijuana, we expect you to dominate that space. It is something you've done naturally over the years. But in terms of the upstream part of it, where you may need significant capital, we expect you to uh, leverage the license to create economic opportunities for your members. Now, the license will not be cheap. Uh, we have not quite priced it as yet, but I'm pretty sure that a license will be no less than 100,000 US dollars. We'll only give a few. And what we will do for the rest of our community here is that we will exempt them from the payment of that license. So we want to make sure that we give you a leg up but the last thing we want is that, having created opportunities to you, is that Rastafari start to fight each other. In fact, your values are well enshrined in the Bible. And if you follow those values, you can't go wrong. The values of brotherhood, values to share, to cooperate with each other, to have comity among Rastafari. We expect you to respect those values. And perhaps do that the leadership may want to consider some level of centralization, create a Caribbean 
Rastafari leadership. Because at the end of the day, Rastafari is our thing. It didn't emanate out of Europe. It didn't emanate out of the United States. It came from within the Caribbean. And there's nothing wrong for you now to formalize your movement because I suspect that you have the opportunity now to grow this movement exponentially.